Micah and Ray, City Council acted on several measures today, but what was really interesting were the things that they did not do, the things they didn't even discuss. A new era for City Council. For decades, members cast their votes verbally. Today, the first votes using iPads. They sort of worked. Okay. Perhaps the most significant ordinance the council passed today concerns the future Chicago casino. Members have decided to form a super committee to decide the location of the casino. I think this one we can agree on quite quickly on what the best proposal could be. Why is that? It's a no-brainer. We need the casino. The council also approved a clean energy ordinance mandating divestment in fossil fuel. City Treasurer Melissa Conyers Irvin shined a spotlight on the issue by excluding 225 coal, oil, and gas companies from city investments. I have personally taken the stand to divest from all fossil fuel com companies within the tr within the Chicago Treasurer's office. Also of significance today, what the council did not do. There's still no deal on a ward remap. 41 members must agree on a new map by mid-May, or Chicago voters will be asked to choose one during the June 28th primary. Moving to a voter referendum will be expensive. By some estimates, $40 million out of the city budget. Also unresolved, filling the vacancy left in the 11th ward. Patrick Daly Thompson resigned after he was convicted of tax fraud. Mayor Lightfoot said she'd name a replacement in time for today's meeting, but now she says she needs more time. The people of Bridgeport, Canaryville, Chinatown, all of them are deserving of an alderman, deserving of representation in this body. And for the mayor to yet again, as she's done so many on so many items, move the goalpost uh, is a disservice to the people. In the spotlight today, ethics reform. Alderwoman Silvana Tabaris has introduced an ordinance to prohibit the spouse or immediate family member of an elected official from lobbying the city. Tabaris says the ordinance is in response to word that city clerk Anna Valencia did not disclose on city ethics statements that her husband works as a lobbyist. In the past couple of weeks, there have been news reports about conflict of interest with her husband lobbying the mayor and the city council. Valencia is running for secretary of state in the Democratic primary against Alexi Janulius and David Moore. Her campaign accused Janulius of raising the issue. I do believe this is a political uh, tool that my opponent has tried to use in the middle of a primary conveniently to distract from the questions he has failed to ask about his dealings on Wall Street, who his clients were. Back to the 11th Ward vacancy, the mayor will likely have to call a special city council meeting sometime in the next two to three weeks in order to get a new alder person on the job for those residents. Live from City Hall, Tamon Bradley, WGN News. Thank you, Tamon. The FBI is asking for